So I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna do 10, 25, and 50 yards with the 22, and we're gonna do 10 and 25 yards with the 410 to see how well the spread is. Now for ammunition today, we're gonna to be using CCI 22 standard velocity going 1,070 feet per second. As for the 410s, we're gonna have the Winchester Super X three inch number six shot. These are pretty good, I like these, I shoot these a lot. So let's get it started at the 10. Okay, so let's go ahead and get it started. Now the reason I chose to start off at 10 yards, pretty reasonably, this is gonna be your range that you're gonna be shooting at for some small game, squirrels, maybe a rabbit or whatever. Remember, this is all just for small game. And usually if you kick something up or you spot it in a tree, it'll probably be about 10 yards out. So I just loaded up my 22 and I'm gonna be going for the top right corner. I'm gonna be putting five into that target. Let's check it out. All right. Manual ejection. Gotta cock that hammer. Bit of a heavy trigger, but for a field gun, that's not a big deal. Extractor's not all that great, barely pops it out, so if you got gloves on your hands, good luck. Obviously, with it being a 22, there's no recoil whatsoever, but heck, this gun is actually fairly hefty, so <laughs> if there was any recoil, you wouldn't feel it anyway. Last shot. Let's see how we did. There's your five shot group. I kicked one off to the side. The other four, one, two, three, four. You can clearly see that little weird rainbow pattern. <laughs> That's doing pretty good. Now at 10 yards, it is hitting a bit high, so you can always make adjustment from there, but if this was a squirrel, let's say a squirrel's head is probably about that big. Yep, that'll do it. Okay, so we're sitting pretty at 10 yards. And I said, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it at 15 also. Because this is another reasonable distance that you're going to be hunting small game from. So pretty much from that tree limb or off in the bush somewhere. At 10 yards, she's already plenty accurate, but it's hard to miss at 10 yards. So we're going to do 15, then bump back 25. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna be doing the top left circle. Yeah, as I might've mentioned before, that's a pretty heavy trigger, but for a field gun, that's not so bad. Third shot. All right, last shot. I'll tell you what, it's an easy shooting rifle for a fact. Let's see how we did. All right, well, we got it's still going a bit high. We had two that went up pretty good, but there's two in this hole right here. So, one, two, three right here. So, that's kind of what we're looking at. So let's bump it back to 25. Okay, so we're here at 25 yards. And from the 10 and 15, they are obviously going a bit high, but that's just sight elevation, that's all that is. If you get to know this thing pretty good, you got no problems. It's still very minute a squirrel. So <laughs> I don't think there's gonna be any issue as far as that goes. But here at the 25, we're gonna see what happens. So it's gonna be the low left target we're gonna be aiming for. Kind of funny to hear that thump. I mean, I guess if you really wanted to, you could mount a scope on this, but I can't imagine why you would. All right, number five. 
Let's see how we did. Well, here we are at 25, and it looks like we're starting to spread out a bit. But with open sights, it was kind of expected. So one, two, three, four, five right there. And still going a bit high. So with an elevation adjustment, you can always fix that. But if you look at it, and you had a good eye for what your sights are on this particular rifle shotgun, you're still gonna nail a squirrel, you're still gonna nail a rabbit, the raccoon, or whatever you're aiming at. You're still gonna get it. Alrighty, now we're here at the 50, and I'm gonna aim central and that target because at this range, it is getting a little bit harder to see those smaller targets. So if I aim central, should be no issue. And I'm wondering if we're gonna have enough drop that's gonna put them right in the center of that target because obviously I'm shooting for groups here. I'm not shooting for bullseye. Otherwise, I'd be tinkering with the sights and stuff. But I'm kind of wondering if it's gonna hit bullseye at this range. But one way to find out. Let's do it. Last shot. All right, so that's 50 yards. The tripod started giving me trouble, but I think we ended up getting it. And <laughs> at 50 yards, that target's looking like an orange blur, so kind of wonder what this is gonna look like. Now at 50 yards, is that what this rifle's really meant for? Uh, I mean, it'll do it. I mean, as we're about to see, but we're gonna see what kind of accuracy we get. And there we have it at 50 yards. That's a pretty solid spread. One, two, three, four, five. Yikes, that's a little bit big. So I don't know if I'd be taking 50 yard shots with this thing at a, a rabbit or a squirrel, but that's kind of what we're looking at.